You've been working on Mac computers for a long, long time. Uh, you were hired by Hunter Biden to recover data that was on this laptop. Is that accurate? Yes. Yeah, it, it's interesting because it was April 12th, 2019. Uh, 13 days later, his dad, Joe Biden, announced that he was running for president. Did he seem, was there any urgency, uh, John Paul? Did it seem like he was like, all right, I need you to recover this data, and then I want to get the computer back? Because, you know, as we all know now, there was some, some very private, personal stuff on that laptop. What, why do you think he would leave the laptop there? Is that something that happens with any regularity? How difficult was it for you to find, you know, these videos and these, uh, these emails and text messages on his laptop? John Paul, what'd you see on the laptop that was so, uh, so alarming? You know, obviously things got more of a concern when uh, a couple weeks later, you know, his, his father announced his candidacy. So uh, that... That, that became a concern of mine. Allah, uh, I, I, I appreciate your candor, um, and I understand your hesitancy. Uh, the videos, uh, some of them are out there now. Some of the pictures, especially the self-taken photos of the president-elect's son, Hunter Biden, um, having sex, doing what appear to be drugs, smoking crack. Um, he's, he's, there's a 12-minute video that's, that's fairly disgusting to watch. Um, so you have this information. Uh, nobody's come back to retrieve this laptop. Nobody's paid you for this, uh, this service. Now you've got the laptop of somebody who is, who's the son of somebody who's running for president. How concerned were you that, you that you needed to get this laptop into the right hands or at least just out of your shop? Take us through that. One of the FBI agents actually told me that if, uh, if somebody ever came looking for the device, uh, that I was to stall him and the agent was actually very specific onto the method of stalling him and buying them 24 hours for them to return the equipment so that I could return it to the customer, which seemed odd to me at the time. That, that does seem very odd. Uh, after you had time to think about that a little bit more, why do you think they, they were acting that way and, and handling the situation like that? And at some point throughout this process, you made a copy of the hard drive. Uh, why did you do that? So this laptop is legit. What is on it is legit. That has been verified, and Hunter Biden is now under investigation. I felt that the data that I had seen um, needed to be in the hands of the authorities. Were you surprised that nobody had come to retrieve this thing with so much private, personal, possibly very clearly damaging information on it? We're so glad that you, uh, you've decided to talk about this with us. Um, do, have, you had, do, do you, have you had any threats to your life or anything like that? It's, it's tough. It is tough. I've lost, uh, I've lost a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of good friends. And, uh, yeah. Do you think that this story um, was deliberately suppressed by some of the left-leaning media? Uh, before the election to, uh, to not hurt Joe Biden's chances of winning the election. Um, you have a lawsuit with Twitter right now uh, claiming the censorship of the uh, Hunter Biden uh, laptop articles falsely branded the shop owner, you, John Paul MacIsaac, as a hacker. Um, Twitter claimed that all the videos involving Hunter Biden violated the company's hacking policy. Uh, where are you with that lawsuit right now? And how has Twitter impacted your life? So that is John Paul Mac Isaac. Uh, John Paul, thanks so much for your time and telling your story. We appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. To you too.